Lamblia intestinalis are called sarcomastigophora. Mm. Long name, tongue twisting name, right? But they are sarcomastigophores. Sarcomastigophores. And they are parasites. Isn't that amazing? Let's see what they do. Hi guys, my name is Ankesh and today I'm going to tell you about Lamblia intestinalis. Right, so let's begin. So what is Lamblia intestinalis? First thing, it's a parasite. B-A-R-A-S-I-T, parasite, right? So parasites are the things or the stuff or the bugs, 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 which feed on somebody else's nutritional system or which live upon, feed upon, and reproduce in, inside or outside a host. A host, right? So Lamblia intestinalis, as it's very clear, lives in the intestines, intestine, specifically duodenum, which is small intestine, right? The first part of small intestine is duodenum. That's where Lamblia intestinalis lives. It forms two forms. It exists in two forms. First, trophojoit. Trophojoit. Motile form moving around, right? It has flagella for moving, right? And second form is cystic form, cyst, which is immotile and which is form in adverse conditions. Difficult conditions, right? So how does it transmit? It it is transmitted by oral fecal route. Yeah. <laughs> Poop thing. Or a fecal. How to identify? Lumbly intestinalis are easily observable. Why? Observable. Observable because in trophozoite form they have these flagellum coming off. I will put the picture here so that you can see. They are very interesting creatures and uh, How to avoid infection very important and what are the indications the indications are colitis with allergy colitis is inflammation of the mucus part of colon or large intestine with allergy see the allergic reaction or while having the bathroom time right you feel something like cringy that's, that might be a sign of Lamblia intestinalis infection. Lamblia intestinalis infection. Right. That's not a sign of Lamblia intestinalis infection. Because, and how to avoid it? Avoiding it is very simple. Don't walk barefoot in tropical countries. And always wash your hands after using the toilet. Very easy. Thank you. Now, it's a very uh, asked question in exams they ask are trophozoites found in feces yes they are found but they are not infective why because they do not have protection enough protection a capsule form a cystic form so the cysts are very tough so so tough right so they would infect if accidentally you you mix your food with the food which is not very good i mean there should not be a touching of boo boo with the boo boo what we eat otherwise we we might get this lamblia intestinalis infection right good we should not get it totally no